video in which we talk about smart ways to spend your bonus. So in December you got your bonus. How did you spend it? I know you could be asking why I didn't make this video in December but hold your horses, don't be too quick to judge. I was wondering mine but now that we know better, let's do better. I know it feels like a windfall but do not treat it as such. The same way that you wouldn't treat your salary. And to show you that it is very serious money, just look at it. Before you get it, Kiari has already taken out their share, meaning that it is as good money as your salary. So do not spend it as a windfall. You have earned it, you've worked for it. Whether it is your the tenth month bonus, there are most companies give the the tenth month bonus an equivalent of your salary or even more for the bonus in December. Others it is some percentage or whichever way they calculate your bonus but it is a bonus don't treat it as a windfall but take it very seriously don't just go and splurge like just resist the temptation to splurge your bonus the next time you get it and this is not like dividend dividend is out of an investment so that one i'm sure you're already taking very serious because this is out of your investment that you're getting this i'm sure you treat your dividends very seriously most of the time maybe you reinvest it which is the best way to go about it so for the bonus divide it first into three the first that you should spend it of course towards enjoyment like minimum effort maximum enjoyment like the first part is for you to enjoy apart on your back for the work you have done you've enjoyed months of work whatever working conditions but it's 12 months all the mondays like take it for all the mondays that you've taken <laughs> you've enjoyed in that working year so the first one is like take it take yourself for a vacation a staycation a massage a five star meal or whatever that or a seven star meal whatever you fancy like this enjoy a third of your money so that you have your you're rewarding yourself for that the second one should go towards saving so you can beef up your emergency fund if it is not where you want it to be you can add it there but still you need saving you always need to be ready for a rainy day so you put that towards the preparation of our of a rainy day that part should go towards investment or debt clearance if you have a debt maybe your credit card you should put this because you should put a deposit towards payment of your down payment on your credit card if you have debt with the other parties clear that debt so that you have more peace and you can also pay your your debts faster this is a video we had made i had made about paying off getting out of debt and i will link it here so that you have it if you are not in debt or you've paid your debt and you still have part of the money then you should put it towards investment and how good it would be that out of your bonus you are earning something extra or some dividend out of it so just to recap the first you divide your bonus into three parts the first part is for you to enjoy however you spend it that's for you like you want to go and buy yourself a dress that is ridiculously expensive or a wig <laughs> or i don't know a rings for your car whatever this whatever makes you happy and will make you feel good for working 12 months like go do it if you no like don't go drink yourself silly <laughs> the second one save like boost to emergency fund it's save put it towards saving you'll be glad you did it and the third one is invest or debt clearance if you have any questions kindly write them on or you have a topic that would like me to cater to kindly leave it on the comment section how you've spent your bonus i'd like to know how you spend it now that it is still fresh on your mind since it is january and the month is january it is january all the way so i'm sure you still remember how you spend your bonus so kindly comment on the comment section that will be it for this video kindly like subscribe share and comment on the video and i'll see you on the next one